Hey guys, it's Mark, and welcome to Chatting with Mark Stein. Interesting thing about Sasquatch, a lot of people will admit and they'll uh, contest to the fact that uh, for those people who are farmers or ranchers or cattlemen, Sasquatch has been known to uh, steal grain from their grain bins that they feed their, their, their animals, their horses and, you know, goats, sheep, whatever. People will sit there and admit that Sasquatch will steal a hog out of a pen. Sasquatch will steal chickens. Sasquatch will steal goats, kill dogs. And one thing has always perplexed me because if Sasquatch is like a like a human, which we believe, some sort of an ancestor of human, that Sasquatch is capable of eating these things as well as grain. So, you know, it's an omnivore. It eats both plants and animals. That's what an omnivore is. The Dennis Martin disappearance has always... I don't want to say fascinated me, but it, it's intrigued me. Because... To give you a background, I did a video on Dennis Martin. You can take a look at it. The link will be in the description. Long story short, Dennis Martin on Father's Day, which is in June, goes out with his father and his two kids. Dennis Martin, Dennis Lloyd Martin, is seven years old. Well, lo and behold, they are in the Great Smoky Mountain National State Park. They come across another family and their kids. Their last name happens to be Martin as well. Kind of a kind of an unusual to coincidence, but no big deal. One Martin family asks the other, hey, can our kids play with your kids? Mr. Martin says, no problem. They're playing hide and seek. And of course, as any good parent would, Mr. Martin's keeping an eye on his, on his two boys. Well, they go out, they hide, and Mr. Martin keeps an eye on Dennis. Dennis goes behind this bush, which happens to be documented in this picture right here. Well, when all the kids come out, <coughs> Dennis doesn't come out. So, of course, like any good parent, Mr. Martin heads over there and there's no Dennis. Dennis isn't there. There isn't any struggle. There isn't any blood. There isn't any signs that Dennis was mauled by anything. Dennis is just gone. Within 30 minutes, a search begins. Dennis's father is running up and down the trail, calling out to his son, yelling his name, can't find him. Some nine miles away, the Key family, looking for bear, because they wanted to go into the, the state park and they wanted to try to see if they could find some bear, hears a blood-curdling scream that's reported as literally the most terrifying sound they'd ever heard which is very similar to what a lot of people report on a Sasquatch. Now, all I have to go on are these facts. One of the children of the Key family points to his father and say, hey, there's a bear. And he said it because it was off in the distance, it was covered in hair, covered in fur, but it was upright and looking to avoid um, being seen. And the father said, no, that can't be a bear because it's on, it's on two legs, you know. Now, it's reported, and I can't verify it, that the keys say that they saw that there was something red on its shoulders, which Dennis Martin was wearing a red shirt at the time. The issue that I have two things. One, why didn't Dennis answer his father? Two, during the search, and I'll get into this part later, if Dennis was kidnapped by a Sasquatch, and that's my theory, why didn't Dennis scream? Why didn't Dennis holler out? Everybody knows and everybody has said that Sasquatch are attracted 
to the noises that children make, especially when children are at play. American Indians have reported that Sasquatches often kidnap children. Now, if you all believe this, and you all agree that this happened, why didn't Dennis scream? Sasquatch are known for literally being able to, like, blend in with their surroundings. They can remain so perfectly still, you don't even realize they're there. Dennis was playing hide-and-seek. He was he ran behind a bush or a shrub or whatever the hell that thing is, and he never came out. So while that was happening, something happened to him. Something that prevented him from screaming. You see a Sasquatch. You're seven years old. You're either petrified with fright or you're dead. Now, I realize a lot of people are going to turn off the video at this point or say absolutely not or Mark, you're an idiot. But the unfortunate problem is I have a theory that fits the facts. The, facts is, the fact is, is that Dennis Martin was within a stone's throw of his father. What I have is a theory that fits the facts. Dennis Martin's father knew where his son was. He knew he kept an eye on him. He's seven years old. The last thing he wanted is a boy getting lost. He saw where Dennis Martin was hiding. He ran to that spot. Dennis wasn't there. There was no blood. There was no torn clothes. There was no nothing. As if something picked up Dennis and ran off with him. That's a fact. Dennis ran up and down the trail, hollering his son's name out. Kid is lost. You're, the first thing you're going to do is start screaming your kid's name. All you have to do is respond. Even, when, even if Dennis just wandered off, at one particular point, he's going to start crying for help. That never happened. Nine miles later, the keys hear a blood-curdling scream, something so terrifying, everybody reports that about a Sasquatch, that there's this god-awful noise. That's what the keys heard. That's what the key family heard. It's also reported, and I can't verify it, that they saw a creature. They saw what they thought was a man, but the man was covered in hair. It was covered in fur, so they didn't think it was a man. They didn't think it was a bear. They didn't know what it was. Trying to be elusive, trying to remain hidden. Now, you'll admit that Sasquatch carry off hogs, though carry off goats, chickens, they'll kill dogs, they'll eat grain. Now Sasquatch isn't definitely not starting a zoo. It's not looking for pets. Is it possible, is it not possible that Sasquatch killed Dennis Lloyd Martin? Is it not within the realm of possibility? And if it's not, why? Here's my next question. This is, this is the part that always perplexed me. And when I did the first video, I, I couldn't figure it out. Here's the, uh, here's the clipping. And you can, you can research this yourself. Green Berets showed up to add to the search, because apparently they found a shoe some distance away. Now, according to Missing411, which is the source where I got this information, according to Missing411, when the, when the Green Berets showed up, they did not coordinate with the park rangers. They did not go over and say, hey, where have you guys looked? This is where we're going to look. Hey, this is our frequency. If you need anything, this is how we're going to coordinate. They didn't do any of that. The Green Berets came in and they went off. They did their own thing. They had their own frequency and they did their own stuff. Why the hell do you send Green Berets to look for a seven-year-old child? The answer is you don't. You send in Green Berets unless you want to kill or hunt something.
Somebody had once made a post to me and they had said that the government knew about Sasquatch. I, I don't know if I could fully accept that yet, but the fact that Green Berets were sent in, that's the part that always got has me puzzled. You only send in Green Berets when you want to kill something. You only send in Green Berets when you want to hunt something. Green Berets weren't looking for a missing seven-year-old boy. Why? Was it because of the fact that they knew already that Dennis was dead? Did a Sasquatch kill Dennis? Is it, is it not within the realm of possibility? You'll admit that they'll, they'll grab goats, they'll grab hogs, they'll kill dogs, they'll grab chickens. So why wouldn't they grab a seven-year-old seven year little boy? Now, of course, you can turn around and say, well, maybe they wanted to raise it as one of their own. I grant you that I'm sure that people are going to make comments about that. But here's the problem with that. A seven-year-old little boy is going to grow, so whatever clothes he's wearing, he's going to outgrow. He's going to out... He's not going to... They're not going to fit. Seven-year-old little boy is eventually going to become naked. Seven-year-old little boy isn't going to survive at night. Seven-year-old boy is, is not going to survive in the winter, and a seven-year-old boy certainly isn't going to spontaneously grow hair and fur to be able to keep him warm. Dennis Martin didn't live during that encounter. I mean, what do you think? Am I just completely crazy? Or do I happen to have a theory that just happens to fit the facts? Let me know. Leave a comment below. As always, if you like this video, by all means, please hit like. And of course, hit that subscribe. I could always use all the subscribers I can get. And if you want, you don't have to. In the top right hand corner is a donation button. If you want to donate to my channel, help my channel out, I really would appreciate it. You don't have to, it's not a requirement, but I would be eternally grateful. Well, that's it. It's all the time I have. I'm Mark Stice. Thanks for watching this video.